What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Austin saying he wants to get the nail gun done on Forsaken. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Also, so those was those first comments. So congrats, Austin. Got top comment right away. But if you also want to leave a suggestion, go ahead and leave a comment down below of what weapon you want to see me complete, as well as what map and attachments or whatever else. But I will have a comment there as well with all the weapons that we already have completed. So make sure you check that out before you leaving your suggestion. Otherwise, we'll get a lot of repeats. All right. So for our nail gun, we already have it level 28. We just need two more levels. So not that bad. But for our camo progress, we have 635 kills with it, uh, 285 crits. We're going to need a lot more, uh, 451 pack-a-punch kills. But our vintage in fauna is almost done. Vintage for sure done. Topo, we're getting there. And infection, we still need to unlock. But for our attachments, I'm going to go with the three balls. And we got to go with the chicken sticker. Is there a better placement? We can do this one. Put that there. Let's inspect it. We got the cock and balls right there. And I think I'm going to use Ring of Fire. Uh, I'm. It's been a while since I've used the nail gun. I don't remember what field upgrade I used last time, but special weapons are a little tricky on what to use, but I'm sure Ring of Fire will be fine. We'll switch if we need to. But let's go ahead and hop in Forsaken and get this done. All right, here we go. Running on into Forsaken here. And uh, this is probably going to be a little tough because while we're getting this thing leveled up in Outbreak, uh, also we stream when we get these things leveled up. So make sure you come check out those streams. We do some open lobbies. But this thing's kind of cheeks. Like, it's not that great. It takes a few shots to get a kill here, and we only have 15 rounds in the mag to start. I don't know. I just don't I just don't feel like it's very good. But we're definitely going to have to get this pack a punched as fast as possible, and we're going to need to get dead shot as fast as possible because we, we have to get, like, so many, so many crits. All right, we're going to be here for a minute. But also, I did see some people post in the Discord, uh, if I'll remember to. Hopefully, I do an editing. I will I'll show the post here. Also, join the Discord. Link is in the description. But someone uh, suggested that I should use another grinding spot. I think it's right outside one of these portals. And it's supposed to be funneling the zombies to me like in a straight line. But I don't know if there's much of an exit plan. Like a lot of the like the things I look for in grinding spots is if zombies are coming right at you, that there's ample amount of time to shoot them and reload, and that you have kind of an exit strat if you need it. But let's grab this loose change while we have double points. Double our money. And I'm going to go down here immediately. Let me out. Ooh, I'm out. Let's go. Escaped. Okay, let's get a few more kills here with these last few seconds of double points. But I'm definitely going to try that out. Uh, I don't know if the nail gun's the best weapon to try out a new grinding spot on because I don't know if it really uh, shows off how well the spot does. But we'll see. We'll get it going. And now that we have a ring of fire, I'm going to pick up this insta kill because nail gun definitely needs it. And we're just going to aim head level. There's a gun runner camo and blue tiger. And we're out of ammo. We haven't even left the first room yet. And we're out of ammo. So mule kick's going to be a must then. Let's hop on through. Let's grab this loose change. So let's grab ammo from here. Grabbing loose change from tombstone. Hopefully I don't die. I'm going to die. Okay. Well. Got to use our quick or our self revive immediately here. I've got myself cornered already twice, and we're on round six. It's not looking good today. I'm going to keep blaming the nail gun, even if it is just poor planning by me. There's our forecast camo. Three or more crits rapidly. All right, let's keep moving before we die here. Let's open this, head on through. And I think the spot that we're talking about is right here. Because zombies are going to have to come down here unless we open this. I think if we keep that closed, we'll be fine. But this zombie spawns really close to us. I don't know how this will go. We can try this out. Right now, it seems fine. Uh-oh. Let's ring a fire. That's not bad. I mean, it's only round six, so we'll see once it starts getting crazy. I don't know what will happen when the abomination comes either. It feels like we'll definitely get pinned here. And it looks like there is kind of an escape plan. You just hop over this. Definitely need stamina up for that, though, because I'm getting hit while I'm doing it. I'm gonna definitely die. Grab the loose change from here. I'm grabbing mule kick immediately because ammo's already become a huge problem. Where's our part? There it is. Grab the loose change from here. Wait. Oh, I guess there's no loose change on that. But we can grab it from here, from here, and from here. Where all these zombies come from? I thought I only had one left. Coming soon. Knocked Aaron Toten. All right, let's grab the flashlight. I'm going to open this up and grab Deadshot. There we go. We're a little low on cash now, but that's fine. I need crits. That was awful, though. I was, like, knighting him, shooting over each shoulder. But now we have this, and now we just need a little more money to be able to open our next door. To be able to get the next part. There we go. Just enough. Where's the TV? There it is. Let's repair the teleporter and head on through. And do we have enough to open this? Barely, but I think I'll just sit right here until I can't. Oh, it's already looking like I can't. A lot of ammo. Okay, who wants to get knifed? Who wants to drop me some ammo? Please? They're dropping everything but ammo right now. Mule kick's supposed to help out here. Come on. Ammo? I know you want to drop ammo. All right, whatever. I'm opening the door. There's the ammo. Thank you. What's up, Abomination? A little kiss for good luck. Oh shit, I forgot he charges immediately. Almost got me knocked and killed. Let's buy some armor, shall we? What does this do against him? Oh, actually a decent bit. Not bad. Already got him half health. Nail gun's so bad pre-pack a punch though. Like it, I feel like it does decent against elites, but it still kills zombies very slowly. I don't it's very weird. 
Ooh, right in the ass? You like that abomination? You like nails in your ass? Yeah, you do. There we go. Quick max ammo. Oh, and he dropped a Gersh. I'll take that. Let's kill this uh, last zombie and head on through. Okay, lift the lock down. Let's grab a loose change here. And we don't really have enough money to go do anything. So I'm going to head down here. But I'm actually going to head back through this portal because it'll be faster than taking the other zip line. And we'll try out the spot. We'll see how this does. It sucks that there's like HVAC units in the way because we'd be able to shoot the stairs from here. And it'll make it like a lot more optimal. Maybe we can put our backs against this fence here. Maybe this is better. We just don't buy the fence. There are plenty of spots with uh, where we can just keep our backs at doors. Oh, grudge camo. Let's go. 750 kills. Still a lot to go today. Yeah, this spot's not that bad. Okay. Maybe with this gun it is, but overall, not too shabby. There's our Sunder camo and Rising Tiger. But we got enough for Pack Punch. Let's go do it. Definitely need it. This thing's weak. There we go. There's Pack 1. We can't afford an ammo mod yet, so we'll grab that next time. But this is what the nail gun looks like. Pack Punch 1. Very nice. Coverage on it is very, very good. I really like how they did the DLC weapons. Coverage on it is actually really good. Insane, one might say. And we can let the nuts hang a little bit before we head through the teleporter. And we're back to our spot. And now we're just going to save up for some perks. Oh, now we got a level 30. We can start getting our jackrabbits. Jeez, this thing already feels weak against these zombies. I'm going to need to upgrade this. We just got to pack a punch. And it's already taken a few shots to kill these guys. The spot feels a little slow compared to like spawn though. And with Rampage Inducer, I'm definitely getting messed up. So I don't know if I want to touch that. Let's head on up. Let's make our way towards the Wonder Fizz. Actually, before that, let's upgrade this bad boy. Get it to green. Can we get blue? Nope. All right, let's grab Speed Cola. Oh, Corrosion Camo. Let's go. Jackrabbits are starting to pile up. And a Max Ammo. Beautiful. Glad we have 90 bullets in here. I think that might be like the biggest increase out of any mag. Like after Pack-a-Punching, a lot of weapons probably get like, I don't know, close to double. Here, we started with like 15 in the mag. And then after Pack-a-Punching, we have 90. That's a huge upgrade. This thing needs it. All right, what else do we need? Probably get Quick Revive because we don't have a Self Revive. Probably should have grabbed that earlier. Uh, let's get Death Perception so we can start working on getting that Self Revive back as well as upgrading our weapon and armor. Yeah, and grab this loose change. I guess I'll just chill in here until I got uh, all my perks. All right, let's grab Stamina Up. We're definitely going to need it if we're using that spot. How do I make a crawler with a nail gun? How does that work? Get out of here. All right, let's get PhD and we're good on perks for now. I'm gonna see if we can upgrade this at all because I feel like we've uh, got a few salvage or a few little clumps of it. Anything we can do? Yep, let's get a blue. Can't quite upgrade our armor yet or anything. So I'm gonna go to the grind spot. And I'm saving this ring of fire for when that abomination shows up. It's, it's gotta be coming. It's on its way. I can feel it. Oh, play count spawns right in front of our spot. That's not good. Especially when it keeps that stink around. Maybe I won't spawn if we're standing right here. I guess we'll find out. Let's try a ring of fire here. I said I was saving it for the abomination, but might as well test it out. I'm not getting very many crits here. Oh, never mind. I feel like it's because the zombies are climbing up when I'm shooting at them. Oh, there's our conviction. I think we're done with jackrabbits. That was fast. What if I stand right here? Oh, there's the abomination. Perfect. I just had to use the ring of fire to spawn them in. Come on up, abomination. Don't be shy. There you go. Blow your head off. Oh, he's already basically dead. We don't need a ring of fire yet for him. Yeah, he's gone. He's sleep. It's not a bad spot, though. Still trying to find, like, the most optimal area. Oh, that's probably not it. I got hit once and flew right off. This is our downfall camo. 750 kills while it's packed. And we can go ahead and get this pack too. So let's head through the portal. Head up our rope. And let's get this pack too. We still don't have enough for an ammo mod. I keep forgetting to save a little more. Well, this is what the nail gun looks like. Pack two here on Forsaken. Very nice. I really like these camos here. And the coverage, still great. I, I'm betting Dark Aether looks great as well. I haven't seen it on here in a while. This is feeling like significantly slower. I don't know if it's a nail gun or if it's the spot and making the zombies have to jump up here. But I feel like I am not going as fast as I could. I'll spend this round here, but I think I'm going to go back to spawn and see if it's any faster there. Well, let's go grab an ammo mod first. We can grab it on the way back to spawn. All right, let's grab cryo. Oh, I accidentally threw my Gersh. That's smart of me. Thank you. Shout out Mule Kick for letting me keep it. And I ran the wrong way. I'm, I'm fucking up all kinds of ways right now. All right, back to spawn. And let's chill by death perception. Let's see if this is faster. I think it will be. But the other spot's not bad. A little slower, but a little safer. That's the trade-off you have to deal with. There's our boundary camo, 750 crits. We're not doing bad today. We still got a lot to do, but our camos are pretty close together. We just got our uh, boundary or whatever pack-a-punch one not that long ago. Let's get this to purple. Let's upgrade our armor to two. And that's all we can do for now. Oh, an abomination spawning, but completely invisible. Yeah, charge at me. I dare you. Like, why are you invisible? All right, is it dead? I think it's dead. This has like really weird bullet drop or I should say nail drop because it don't shoot bullets, but it feels like at a distance, it's a lot harder to get crits. All right, the disciple needs to go. Goodbye. Thanks for playing disciple. And the good thing about this gun, and it was, this was pointed out to me when we were streaming, that uh, with special weapons, it has a chance to use 
ammo from your stock instead of your mag. So every once in a while, we're kind of just saving ammo in the mag from it taking out of the stock. It's almost like uh, like Ring of Fire Light. Just saves up the time on uh, reloading. And let's grab our armor level three. And we can save up for weapon or getting our weapon gold. I almost said weapon level three. And we're almost up to pack punch three as well. I'm conflicted because I'm seeing a lot of decoys on the ground. And I know they'll help us get more camos. But when do I ever get a Gersh? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, excuse me, zombies. I need to buy some ammo, please. It's right next to the truck. Rip truck. And let's ring a fire here. Why not? Crack up a few kills. I don't understand why there's any levels for the nail gun past 30. You don't unlock anything for it. For weapons that have no attachments, there should be no levels for it. All you're doing is be like, oh, use this gun until you unlock the right to unlock more camos for it. It's like, come on. There's no point in there being levels for it if you're not unlocking anything. Like, show, show me why I need to level this up. I don't. Oh, what's up, Mimic? You want some nails? There you go. Eat it. Oh, we got enough to get pack three. Let's go grab that. There's pack three. Let's take a quick look at it. Ooh, very nice. Like I said, these pack camos are so good. Coverage great on it. Not much else to say. Just looking clean. Is nail gun like the only special that you need 2,500 crits with? Because wasn't the crossbow only like 1,500 or it didn't even require crits? It's just the weirdest special weapon, man. Oh, I accidentally threw my Gersh. Pop the ring of fire, please. Why isn't the ring of fire blocking this projectile? That's kind of bullshit. It's advertised the ring of fire that it does. And there's our bloodshed camo, 1,500 kills. So we need a thousand more normal kills with it. And a lot more crits and a lot more kills while pack a punch. We got a lot to do still. This gun's going to take a bit. I'm going to hang on to this Gersh until like we really, really need it. Because eventually we're just going to get pinned in this corner. And so I'll just use that to give me a, a nice ring of fire. And then I'll start picking up decoys. Okay. All right, zombies. Let's calm down here. An insta kill made it just save my life. We're about at our halfway point. So I think we're probably going to get out of here at around like round 48. If we stay consistent with these crits. Also, now that we're, you know, we're done with Dark Aether. We still have a lot of weapons to get Dark Aether on. But would you guys like to see me go for Dark Matter again on this account? I know most of you guys are, are mainly Zombies fans. And I know some of you guys watch Warzone. But I don't know how popular Cold War multiplayer will be. Especially like almost... Well, all over a year after its release. So if you guys want to see me, like, try to go for Dark Matter on this account, let me know. We could do that. We can make that into some streams. We'll play some games with, uh, with some people in the stream. Do some open lobbies for that. I think that could be fun. But only if you guys want it. Come on, Abomination. Get over here before my Ring of Fire is gone. Oh, shit, my ass. It's gone. Oh, and we got a Mimic. Cool. You know what? It's time to use the Gersh. Abomination's already almost dead. Just like one more shot. Bye. Any decoys on the ground? Yes, there is. Let's go. Oh, no. This thing sucks against armored zombies. Oh, that's not good. We're hitting the wall with the nail gun. These zombies are outclassing me. Actually, look at that wall of crits. Maybe I'm outclassing them. And they're just trying to fight back. I need that carpenter, though. I got no armor. Look at that shit here. Oh, let's go. Get slayed, zombies. Yeah, go ahead and try to power them up, disciples. See how that works for you. Those are drench camo, 1500 pack a punch kills. We're moving our way up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nade at the ground. Carpenter just saved me. Plus that nade. Ooh, I would have died if I didn't get that armor there right in that second. Barely survived it. But we got enough to get this thing to legendary, so let's do that real quick. Perfect. Now it's at its max potential. Fully packed, fully leveled up. Let's see if this changes it at all. I feel like it won't, because armored zombies are still just tanking shots for me. Kills normal zombies pretty fast, though. I think I've been gaming too hard. My left hand's, like, cramping. Oh, there's threshold. Okay, so we're at 2,231 crits. We'll be done. That's a long way from here. We basically have to double what we've already done. Oh, shit. Nade save me let's go Ooh, that was very close we're hitting our wall our actual wall now we're gonna have to start decoying yeah, these armored zombies just tank so many shots even with ring of fire oh uh, why does the abomination always show up towards the end of my ring of fire you don't think you could show up any sooner oh jeez. get on the decoy and get away from me okay, abomination you need to go to bed right now there you go so easy to take out with ring of fire without it not so much they get real scary disciple what are you doing oh no we gotta go. Gotta blast. Yeah, the nail gun's dookie. Absolute garbage. Is that a sharpshooter's badge with the nail gun? Finally got this thing max level. Again, what are the levels for it for? Besides just to make grinding with it slower. Oh, there's our rotten camo. All done with normal kills. We gotta be getting pretty close here with our pack-a-punch. And then crits. We are about a thousand away still. Or less than that, actually. Maybe like 600, 800 between there. Abomination, stop hitting me! Turn the fucking laser off! Dickhead? Yeah, charge at me, little bitch. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I really need you to just... Unalive. There you go. Oh, no. 
I got a nade out. There we go. Nope, I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I got a ring of fire. Use it! Pop the ring of fire! Woo! That was close. It's still close. Max ammo will help. There's just so much going on right now. I don't even comprehend what's happening. Okay, now I'm down. Oh. I forgot I never bought that self-revive back. I am not dying here. I am not dying here. There's no way I'm restarting this whole game just to get like, what, 800 more crits? That's going to take forever. It's going to take another like 40 minutes. Not happening. No, sir. I'm grabbing a self-revive right meow. There we go. I'm going to try to survive the rest of this round and like leave one so I can go to Wonder Fizz. I'm just going to go right now. Disciple, I really need you to die. Do me that favor. I'm throwing a decoy down. Zombies can stay the hell away while I get everything back. There we go. Oh, shit. Let me through. Perfect. Beautiful. Later, zombies. And we're back to good. I can get to grinding again. Okay. I'm going down again. No, I'm not. That nade saved me. Oh, sliding through. Okay. Nail gun's getting a little tough. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh, nade. Damn. Okay. That's the round, but I went down. Unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate. I'm going to grab that self-revive back immediately. There we go. Okay, decoy's going down. Perks are being bought back. I didn't grab jug, though. Better grab jug. There we go. Now we're all set. Maybe now that's a higher round, we go back and try the other spot. Maybe that'll be a little safer for us. I guess we'll see. All right, let's try it out. See if we can still get a decent amount of crits here. We're definitely going to have to keep, like, changing directions of where we're looking. But we have an escape plan if we need it. So far, not bad. Okay, now it's getting bad. Oh, and I have no ammo. Any of you guys drop ammo? Hmm? Not looking like it. And the decoy. Okay, I'm going to have to nade here. Somebody's got to drop ammo for me. There we go. Abominations here. Why are you jumping up there? Get down. There we go. Got him killed. All right, I think it might be a little more difficult up here. But I also keep running out of ammo. That's probably got something to do with it. Is there an ammo bin in here? There is. A little risky, but we'll grab it. Please don't block my exit, zombies. I need out. I need to get out. Oh, I'm dead. That's cool. That's fine. That is a-okay. I'm just burning my money buying perks every round. I think I'm more comfortable at spawn. I kind of have that down to a science. And that way we can always buy our armor back and all that. I accidentally bought a chopper gunner. Big rip. That's a waste of salvage. Get on the decoy, please, motherfuckers. I need armor. Thank you. Yeah. That spot's good, but I think spawn's definitely better. All right. Let's go back to Wonder Fizz. Oh, there's chemical. We're all done with pack punch kills. Our crits are not too far behind. We needed about like 300 more kills, something like that. I think it's time we grab Elemental Pop. As much as I don't want to, because I know it's going to be taking away some crits, I feel like it'll keep us alive. That's just a trade-off we're going to have to take. Those are our marksman badge. Now we're max level with it. Sharpshooter was just a certain amount of kills. And we actually survived the rest of this round without going down. We're improving. It's seeming like the very early rounds with this gun are mirroring the very late rounds with this gun. Like, we're all good between, like, round 20 till about round 35. Before that, we went down twice. After that, we went down twice. It's like the, the gun just repeats itself. Oh my, Lanta, we're down again. Rain Rock, go get a kill for me. Thank you. We just broke the 2,000 crit mark, though. Very nice. I feel like we should just stay here. I'll grab perks when it's the round's low. I'm just sick of running back and grabbing them. Oh, the round is low. And by low, I mean over. We gotta be fast. All right, use this decoy. We got everything but Tombstone back, which is fine. Hopefully. Knock on wood. Oh, there's a level up. Did we get it? Is that Gold Viper? Nope. We are very close, though. 2,138 crits. I think we need 2,230-something. Oh, no. Chopper gunner to save me? Woo! I'm not even gonna get any kills with it. I'll just take a look around. It's pretty nice out here. I never actually see the outside of this very much. Got some helis, though. And all of our zombies are over there. Okay, let's exit. Oh, damn. I'm getting nothing done here. Get on the decoy for me, please. I'll throw on an extra. This should be Gold Viper right here if we can survive this onslaught. Just need one more decoy down because I still will get mobbed even with a ring of fire. Oh, great. An abomination's here. Just what I wanted to see. Oh, jeez. I ran right into it as it was charging. We're like 10 crits away, though. Guess I'm gonna have to train. You know, this thing's doing absolutely nothing. It's taking like 30 shots to kill a zombie. And I'm out of scrap, so I can't even buy more decoys unfortunate i'm buying way too many oh there's gold viper there we go beautiful eat these nail gun master badge you already know who it is eat all these nades especially you abomination quick banish camo on them and we'll do our last stand right here okay we're actually surviving somehow no way i'm actually goaded on the sticks oh made it through even though i don't want to and it's not like i can nade myself to down myself and i'm too scared to quit when i get camos i feel like uh, it'll lose my progress so i'm gonna stand right here and try to live as 
long as I can. We'll use a molly. I feel like a molly will help. We'll use it right now. We'll just let all the zombies run through it. Okay. Stunning. Almost out of ammo here. There's a C4 on the ground, but I can't quite get to it. Okay, we're down. A nuke went off. Okay. We'll use my self revive. And it's ring of fire time. We survive in the ring of fire. We still do have a quick revive too. We're not doing bad still. We're surviving. Why did I get good when I don't need to? All right, zombies, just take me out. I'm done. I'm over it. You guys win. There we go. All right, our final stats here. 3,000 eliminations, 2,314 crits, seven downs. Two of those were on purpose, but the rest were all real. And we got every single camo for it. Well, basically every single camo. We got a few while we're leveling it up. Let's check on what the camos look like on it. So let's get rid of these. And this is what Gold Viper looks on it. Very clean. Very nice. Really great coverage here. Looking stellar. Like Diamond. Also very good. Bust down as fuck. Crazy diamonds everywhere. And Dark Aether looks pretty sick on it. It looks so weird though. I'm pretty sure this might be a thing with my game where it looks completely like dark and void here, but then you move it, you angle it, and you can actually see the other colors. Like it's like it, whenever it's facing me, it's void. And I move it, you can actually see the pattern on it. I don't know what's doing that. But I don't like it. It would look good if it was always like this. Like, that's clean. That's so clean. Just come on. Stop showing me the obsidian looking camo. All right, let's go ahead and see if it uh, looks any better in game. All right, this is what the nail gun looks like with Dark Aether in game. Pretty good, but I think I'm still having that problem where the camo doesn't look like how it should. Maybe I'll give it a second and then reinspect. All right, that seems like enough time. Ooh, okay. I really like when the light pink comes on here. That light purple it makes it look real nice. And it matches the gloves real well. This is a nice looking weapon. Might suck. Uh, balls and cock. But looks pretty good with camos. Let's wave to it. Because I'm in jack-o'-lantern. Because I'm hitting the wrong inspect. There we go. And we missed the pattern. Damn it. All right, well, there you have it. We got the nail gun done. Uh, personally, not a huge fan of it. I think it looks cool. It sounds cool. But it is not the greatest in zombies. We were struggling with it for a bit. But with that... I'm going to have to end the video here. So if you guys like that and want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please enjoy subscribing, put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.